Hi everyone, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be bringing you my current slash November favorites. I don't have a ton of beauty, but the products that I do have are all very crucial to my daily makeup routine. The first product that I'm going to talk about is definitely the most important to my daily routine, and that is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. I use this every day to define and sculpt my brows in the shape that I want them to, and then I'll fill in with a powder afterwards. This has a nice little triangle applicator there, and then a spoolie on the other side. And then it is a little more on the pricey side, however I do feel like it is definitely worth it. I purchased it during the Sephora Friends and Family Sale, so I could justify it. My next product is the Lorac Pro 2 Palette. I own the first palette and I used it every day. I really loved it. So I wasn't going to buy this because I didn't feel like I needed both. However, there was a really good sale on, I believe it was HSN, and I really couldn't pass it up. So I bought it and I'm really glad that I did because it's very different. There's a different variety than the Pro 1 palette. So I have been using this one every day instead just to kind of test it out and see the different combinations and everything. I really, really like it. I wouldn't say that I like this over the one more because they are pretty different in my opinion, but um, I've currently been gravitating more towards this one. My next product has been coming in handy recently because we are getting cooler weather in November right now, and my skin has been a lot drier. In Florida, anytime the humidity changes drastically, my skin will get very dry to kind of overcompensate. And I've been using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Therapy Skin Protector. That's a lot to say. But I didn't feel like my everyday moisturizer was really cutting it for the dryness, so I needed a little something extra, and that's this guy. And I really, really like it. Um, I definitely recommend it because it doesn't have like the harsh parabens and chemicals, and I personally have very sensitive skin, so I have to be careful what I put on there. This works really well, and it hasn't irritated my skin, so I really, really like that. And my next favorite is the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Mauve. It's this very pretty pinky brown color. And I would like to address the fact that I have jumped on the Kylie Jenner Pink Nude Lip Bandwagon, as has everyone. Unfortunately, I don't think it was avoidable because it's everywhere. But I really, really like this one a lot. I don't feel like it's too brown because I don't like that. I don't find it super drying. It is a lip pencil though, so you definitely want to moisturize beforehand, but I really love it and I think it's simple and there's not a lot to it, you know? And my next favorite is another palette. It's the Tarte Chic palette that they released this holiday. This one is called Pin Up Girl and it has five of their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. This one, let's see. see very, very pretty. Um, I tried to scoop up their Off the Cheek palette last holiday season, but it went really, really fast. I saw this during the Sephora Friends and Family Sale, and I couldn't say no because I personally don't have a lot of blushes in my collection, and I thought this was great because they're not full size, I don't believe, but it's a nice variety. You know, there's like brown, plum, light pink, berry color, and an orange, and I just really like that I have it all in a palette in case I need to take it somewhere with me. It is like a cute little clutch thing that they have going on in some bobby pins, I guess. So that's cool. Now I guess it's time to move on to the random favorites. And the first one is going to be these bobble bar earrings. I know you're not going to be able to see them from far away, so I'll do a close up. But they're ear jackets, so there's a little stud on the front and then they go underneath. They're so cool. I think it's a really great way to add like some edge and some flair to any plain outfit or anything like that. I've worn them to work just to kind of spice things up and I get so many compliments on them because they really are unique. There's not a lot out there right now like them. My next favorite is something very exciting. It is a book and I haven't been reading a lot because of school but when I saw that Amy Poehler's book was going to be coming out I had to get it. I'm a huge fan of Amy Poehler, especially in Parks and Rec. That's one of my favorite shows. And she just has a really great personality, and her beliefs and ideals are really great. I'm not going to go too in-depth on this, because I am going to be doing a book review on this when I'm completely finished. So look forward to that. I will be linking it in the down bar when it's up. 
Next I'm going to share my favorite TV shows of the month. I have three and they are Gilmore Girls, Parenthood, and How to Get Away with Murder. They are on their um, winter hiatus right now, mid-season finales, so that's not great. But Parenthood is in its final season, so if you haven't checked it out, you should. Also, How to Get Away with Murder is a really good new show, so I'm enjoying that. And my favorite song of the month, I don't really like picking a favorite song because I feel like I'll listen to a lot of different things. And I really, really don't want to admit this one, but one of my favorite songs this month has been Taylor Swift's Blank Space. And if you know me, you know that I'm not a Taylor Swift fan, but I cannot help liking that song and some other songs on her album as well. And my last favorite that I'm going to show you, I wasn't going to include because I just got it yesterday, but I just wanted to show you how cute it is. It's this phone case from Wildflower Phone Cases and it fits my iPhone 6 perfectly and I'm very happy with it so I wanted to share it with you. Alright so those are all of my favorites. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your November favorites are and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!